Gifisa kutata lili tuba, gibingelele. Our apostle ukona, they are just going to walk in now. Eh, siya bingelele laga kulu. Eh, kona pakati wetu mpostoli. Eh, gibingelele. Haba fundi sibonga bakona. Eh, the priesthood. Eh, yaka funeka siya bingelele ubaba no mama. We love you so much. Eh, yeah, siya mbongo nkulu 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 bakona kwenu. In the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I'd like to greet the leadership, the diacons, Sbingelele, O Babo, Mami, Tombins, Iswagwelihe, Ikamalum, Fellow to Jesus Christ, Amen. It is a wonderful thing that you are here, Amen. Hallelujah. I do not want to waste time. Nyazun Postoli Uzofik, as a say, O Kalaganan, Nyatalogutti, Amen. Uh, what a service we had yesterday. Hallelujah, Vazelan. What a service we had yesterday. I could not get over. I was meditating about Izu Ubaba Umafu Al Sheril. Amen. Uguti, uh, we can have dominion through prayer. Hallelujah. It's a reality, Bazalwani. Uguti, those who pray have power with God. Amen. It's not automatic, but dominion will come to those people who give themselves and listen to God with spirit, instructing them and walking with them. Hallelujah. So I was so edified. I was so edified. Nyafisa ke ukuthi nana mhlanje siqhubeke sifunde nje sibuke izwi kaNkulunkulu kafishane and then we are going to pray are you ready to pray amen we gonna read from second chronicles chapter 20 verse number 20 Second Chronicles chapter twenty, verse number twenty. Miss Petalas is of Ula Uluk sixteen, verse ten. So, in your fissa Sibuguzi Zolo it is prayer that will establish us. I need to be speaking about establishment. It is prayer that it will establish us. Nam Sanje, we are looking at Second Chronicles chapter twenty, verse twenty. Ufundega Ganje, Uti, and they rose early in the morning. And went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitant of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye Prosper. Nyafuna, the last segment. See funden song ebazalwan. Le eti believed. Can we can we start from belief? Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. Can you see the formula? Can you see the formula? Luke chapter number 16, verse number 10. If formula it he colon colon col, Zag Miswa, no muzo kata meliso. My city colwa about prophet, bagan colon colu, uzo pumelela. Luke sixteen, verse number ten. If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater things. Nyalbona ngiti kutali shuguti. Oti libati nko joba zalwani. Bati. Otembe go kingani. Kulu kulu zo mtemba go kulu. Angiti bantu wele kosa kanjali. Liti otembe go kingani. Kulu kulu zo mtemba ngezi nte nkulu. Lele liti uma utembe ke intwene ingani. Uzo otembe ka nase intwene nkulu. Lisho nje kanjali. A cell phone, the foot. He that is faithful in that which is least is 
faithful also in much. He that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Kusutu munto nga tembegile, ntwene ngana nga tembegile, na sentwene nkulu. Kusutu ngemze kunkulu nkulu, agu tembe, ngente ngane, uzulule mshabeni, kote ogutu nkulu nkulu, uktembile na uktembegile, ntene ngane. Amen. This is one of the, as I, I want to clarify the topic establishment, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 18. Can we welcome our Apostle Bazarani Shai Zandla Shai Luches? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see. Remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful. Elinelizoti, he gives you ability to produce wealth. In order to fulfill in order to establish the covenant that is confirmed with your ancestors by an oath. Hallelujah. Let me read from King James. It's if but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives power to get wealth. It is God who gives power to get wealth. It is God who's going to give me power to get wealth. Marcelity, that he may establish his covenant. Oh, Uncle Siam, yes, we've been in Fundaganji and I said, Makai, I'm showing up a little That he may establish his covenant. Do you see why God gives wealth? So that he fulfill his covenant. Hallelujah. So then, unkulunkule zotualisi itembi so azenza. So nyaibona into, yoguba established. Uguti, it's not about you. It is about the covenants of God. He gives wealth. Ushuti i wealthy ti na melesa zuguti. It is a tool for God to advance his in kingdom and to fulfill the covenants he have with God, with, with, the, with the fathers. Hallelujah. Little which we saw unto the father. There are covenants that God saw unto the fathers. Kuna azenza no baba So uguze skuazi ukfinyele la zonno muguzu unkulukula itualise kumela snigesi wealth. Hallelujah. Unkulunkulu uzo snigesi power but also mela snigesi ne wealth. Kusutugunezi <laughs> Hallelujah. And it's the vessility. Umumunde figa gwene tulambile. No magambete. Mo utu nko sigbusise. There is not enough. Ebe ngambete no menga jile. Hallelujah. You see kuti why you need wealth. Is that when you have preached to them. Masebe tsengil zwili zwi ngea chabula. Kota ngambete. Angina zingubo. Ukwazu tata from the wealth. And lapo kutwa lsegi itembi iso. Uche esu ay kuluma. Hallelujah. So I wanted to set that record straight. Uguti, as we are speaking about you being set up, it is not for your, your selfish gain, but it is for the covenants to be fulfilled. The covenant that unkulunkulu ange na guzo no baba betu. Bless God. Okay. Sesbuye lage in our verse, esilfundile. Second Chronicles 2020. Liti, believe in God. Or have faith in God. Namhlanje ngifuna ukhuluma about stewardship 
or save us as a tool for establishment. And it is always for you through prayer you can have dominion. Today I want to teach you Uguti, through stewardship or through service you can have dominion. Hallelujah. Baninga Bantu and as we started, they understand Uguti, God wants to set us up. They understand Uguti Nkulunkulu wants to give us authority and place us over positions, over thrones, over families. He wants to firmly establish us. It is like when you know that Nkulunkulu Ufuna Uyempumalang. It's a good thing. Hallelujah. Masagalitis, we believe that Nkulunkulu Zogis and Pumalang. I'm making an example. Hallelujah. But it is more important to know how am I going to get there? In a quality, believe in, the, in your God, you shall be established. And yet you have a mountain in your head. And yet you have a family, you have a business in your mind. So, Hebrews 11 verse 6, without faith, this is impossible to praise God. So the first step for you to be established is that believe him that he is the rewarder. Believe him. Everything he has said in his word and what you desire that is in line with God. God has it. That is, where, that, that, that is your first step in being established. That's believe God. Hallelujah. Point number two, to be established, Bazalwan, you must believe that God is able can you say God is able? To be established, you must believe. Hallelujah. Do you believe that God is going to do it for you? I do not know. But do you believe that God can do it for you? That he can. That he is able. That he is unlimited. That he cannot be stopped. That he can break barriers. Can you believe that he is supernatural God? He is a working God of seven among miracles. Can you believe that he is? You your level of faith. You must be unshakable. You must believe without any shadow of doubt that God can. No misfellows feel it. Believe that he can. No mimnyagi si hambile believe that he can. Inga kumpostoli uti. If you come to him, believe. Believe that he is a reward. Bengfuna gota si susele equation. Yonga kolwa, kolwa. Ngoba, that's the first step. How are you going to be established? Point number two. Believe his prophets. Hallelujah. Prophets of God, they know the mind of God. They know they carry revelation. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, Uguti, Uma, Una Setman, in a local church, you don't believe Ugutua Kwazi in Jelas Kankulukul, failing. You are limited. Hallelujah. Sorry, that's a long. I'm calling to see Kuluma, you Bazalwan. Uma, Uno, Muntu, and Kulum Kulupam, who are called. I'm Bo and Kulumaganji. Bible schools are there to teach you about the book. But sad men will teach you about the realm of the book. So umundu also Bible college will know the book, the Greek and everything about the book. But most of the local church, hallelujah, you will find the ways of the book. Ingakoke is to believe his prophet. Because they carry the mind of God. And if we it might take long to figure corner or you can never reach the place. 
So it is we call one of our prophets so that you will prosper. So Kuluman is saved this Namjanja stewardship. So Umpostoli, as he declared, our apostle Babundu of Uguti, Unkulunkulu wants to establish us. We then dive in to search the scriptures and the mind of God, Uguti. It's in the root. Because it's the Azuguti on Kentinama principles. Hallelujah. It's in the root. How are we going to travel to our establishment? Amen. Even the Sumeru Abuzuguti Zogwanzeganjan. But you are stay put. The power of Holy Spirit is going to come upon you. Hallelujah. Through service, no matter through stewardship, a man is established. I took a case study, a case study, God, God, David. That it is when you are serving God, it's either with the talent, it is when you serve your generation that God can trust you. Hallelujah. That God can increase you in any other field. It is when you are dedicated to serve God. In fact, Bazalwani, save this is the internship in the school of the kingdom. Those who serve, they get crafted, they get moldy, they get made in a place of service. When you use your talent, your gift in the house of God, God can trust you in his kingdom. Hallelujah. When you, you, whatever you have, if you sing, if you, if, if you are an usher, if you are a giver, all kind of talent, your mind, your ideas, everything that God has given you as a talent, if you use it in the kingdom of, if you use it in the church, unkulunkulu will ensure that he set you up in his kingdom. Save his contract us. Like a construction. It constructs us. It makes us. It fashions us. Preparing us for the places. That unkulunkula sisak zone. Hallelujah. Kusuti where God is taking us. There is a version that is needed. Kuno mundo ngega nigezu. Shalo nengebo. Up until they, they take this kind of a version. And you can acquire the version necessary for the mountain that you are eyeing in service. In a contain in service, it's where you are molded. As you serve God in the church, unkulukuluk niggas are my people. As you serve God in a church, unkulukuluk was gugulung disuli mate e kulunyoganje na band. Because you have vision, so that you get into a place having your tongue one. As you serve in the church, we are was to tour. I abangi kanje uma wenza lomsebenzi. This is how you think. So when abantu who come in the church, having a distorted mindset, having no faith, but as they serve in the house of God, they get to learn about faith. Hallelujah. So save us is the internship in the kingdom of God. When you serve, God irons your life in a place of savers. I said many things are handed over to you as you serve. You get the manners. Your character is crafted. Your way of thinking is crafted. The way you speak is crafted. Because And if you can master those ways when you are serving in the house of God, you become exceptional. So the place of service is God's platform to make you or set you up. God reward all savers. Hallelujah. Even Kuluma no Muntu who feels as if whatever they do in the house of God does not get to be seen. Akamila Pambi. 
God reward Bazalwane all kind of savers. Because Unkulunkulu, he's omniscient, he's omnipresent. Hallelujah. He's all knowing. He is everywhere. Even if you can get a task, a tiwa, a wenza show, wutu wutu genze, kakunga bonanga muntu. Ipungala lentoye nzile, it goes to God. Hallelujah. No mangatiwa abanta bazange bakbone, but I want to tell you, as you devote yourself to self, God is going to reward you and establish you. There are work that seems like maniac, work that seems awful. It can be like work of cleaning the toilets. Omunyu muntu angati waze wa mnanu msebenzi, noma waze wa mnanu msebenzi. But I want to tell you that in that work, God is going to reward you. Hallelujah. In fact, I have seen uguti, people who have a low self-esteem about tandu wenzi msebenzi mnanu. Ngo baba bona ngataba ntu baso baba bona sebe bangani. But a person who knows who they are. Hallelujah. They love to do them seven zile abanye abangayazu guti. Iyo na unkulu unkulu I benefit aga kulu. I credit aga kulu. So there is no service in the house of God. Fanele wazu guti mo bona ngati. Hey, tu autate lezi speak usbege la paya. Make a figure, Jay, in Tetsi. In Dabawa, I mean, Okwazuguti, the enemy has whispered to you and has limited you. Hallelujah. I remember some other times, the Consul, all good December, many years ago. I'm our shepherds, no good December, a ham. So, Sassel, I think we're three of us, it's a cell. And then I knew that I had to go and serve, and I was worshiping that Sunday. And then some other lady called me, what's happening? Pateke gabi gikbo nukhebe. I was like, Ibo, if you only know, hallelujah, uguti that work infects it an honor that I can worship and usher the children of God. Awuko umsebe, no manga tiwa usune taikle nga gana ni. If you want to be set up by God, if you want God to trust you, begin by doing those work that seems nga ni. We are speaking about establishment. Im seven zemnani will not reduce you. Hallelujah. In fact, it can even amplify who you are. You remember Ujesu. Ekeza bafundi baki nyao. Everybody thought to go to I this job is the low, lower seventh job. But Ujesu did it with honor. Hallelujah. Says Lulile, say God rewards all kinds of savers. Be faithful in the little in savers. Be faithful. Nizuli zuli te ni lite umasi tembega gogna ni sizo tembega na gokul. Hallelujah. Uncle Uncle can give you an opposite sex to counsel that person. If you are not faithful in counseling just one person. But to funugia we ministry, how are you going to survive ministry? Megan J was on the opposite sex when your mind goes haywire. How are you going to be trusted with thousands? When you want God to trust you with anointing, unkulunkulu ati tanda zelumu no yeto we are called shwanjalo ukumbule mausumbon. How God can trust you? With the anointing to set other people free. Because you, you are not even a good steward. You can't pray for Oh, how much more if you fail to pray for yourself? Even the principle of tithe. It's how God measures you. If he's, he's going to be able to set you up to rule. Hallelujah. If you are sure to govern yourself, how are you going to be able to rule over a family? Ushulu we vusa when we have seven zin, go to funuk shata nom den. Uzobachala kanjana bantu go to one common to your vogan and While when you are still struggling with coming out of your own bed, 
That is how I can establish this person. I can put this person over a family if you are faithful with yourself. Like wash, like clean yourself. And you are praying for a five mansion, five rooms mansion house. How are you going to be able to clean yourself and clean the house when you are failing to take care of your bed? What you what you gonna do? It's important what you do here. Hallelujah. Before God, before God set you up, because there are permanent community being set up. It is being permanent set up. Hallelujah. I can phone uncle 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 to tell me to soak fig like you honor. I pin the punyo get food. Serve well. Stewardship and savers is a tool for you to be established. Serve well. Whatever is committed to you must increase. Whatever is committed to you must increase. If God, Mamuma, cause a bigger finance, there must be an increase. Hallelujah. If God has put you with some system, nothing must die. Things must be maintained and they must, they must, he set up your corner and everything, excellency must increase. It is when things increase. God worship team, worshipers must increase. The level of worship must increase. Hallelujah. If you must increase the level of your giving. That is how you are serving. Uma to support a family sick. No more push that you increase in the level of supporting other families. Everything increase. So there is a was who timber and set you up upon the mountains that you require. No more you desire. Hallelujah. This is a time for self introspection. Can I see hands of those people who have been given ministries? Ministries. Ministries. Hallelujah. Are you seeing an increase? But it's to teach you, equip you. Are you increasing? Ever since you stepped in, is there a change? Is there progress? Why is that? We are showing team is the ministry increasing. Hallelujah. It, these are the things that are set up to become the largest church in a place. When we are faithful in serving his people with all diligence. When we are serving well. Hallelujah. It's important that the community serve well, have favor as well with men. Hallelujah. When you serve well, you can't do it. But when you are rendering a service, you must render it so well that when people see it, but to miss it. Because it in solidity, to establish you. You will be recommended if you serve well. I, I have come across people who have skills but who do not serve well. Who are the best but who do not serve well. When you are rendering a service unto God, you must make sure that even unto men, Bazalwane, we are going to pray just now. Unkulunkulu subizela to a place to serve kings. Kunomundo satisfied. You know, our kings, they have commands. Our king, they rebuke you now and then. If you cannot take a rebuke with men, how are you going to take a rebuke with kings? Hallelujah. 
kunama kunama kuna indawo la uNkulunkulu khona athi mesefuna ukufeka khona he needs to ensure that you serve well because you are going to be serving in such a position that will have his name esteemed or shamed as you want God to establish you kala la useva khona don't treat people with your frustration correct your attitude hallelujah in fact people who have mastered their character ila bantu esiba recommend ayo i would recommend i would rather have a person with the right attitude ngithi ngcono ngizomfundisa hallelujah kunokuthi ngibe nomuntu one skill babufuneka kodwa ohlaza ngazi kahle ukuthi u best kodwa attitude yakhe uyaduba uyadinwa kakhuzwa the level where god is putting us as a church ila khona ufuna siseva amakhosi he is putting us in the world for the world to see many people abaku ma positions amani they are going to come among us and god is teaching us how to serve kings where you are serving surely you will not be able ngoba kuzothiwa lokhara uphekile akukho mnandi maso sona kade ngangipheka mina shuthi ibona abanolibo lobabaya bakhipha inyongo but ngimele ukwazi ukuthi ukwazi bazalwane niyangizwa this is very important This is very important. If you cannot take rebuke, it means ukuthi awukwazi uqhubeka, uqhubekele ube set up in the things of God. If you don't serve, you serve excellently and you serve with a good attitude. Serve with honor. There are people who serve but not with honor. We are speaking about service. Whatever that you have been given unto God to do do it with honor if umela pemnyango mengingena mina ngiyabukana ngimengingena ngiyabukana uma ingayizwa nga le nto ye honor and being welcome ngivela ngibona ukuthi you are not ready to serve kings don't take it lightly ukuthi i'm an usher at the door because there's a person ozobanjwa yinto yokuthi you serve them with honor as bengen Hallelujah. If they feel dishonored ababuyi labo bantu. Bless God. Even for those who stand in front of people, you watch what you say because you might offend abantu bakaNkulunkulu. Hallelujah. While I was writing ngibuka ukuthi really uNkulunkulu uses our service to promote and to upgrade us. Usethu uNkulunkulu ngifuna ubuko ukuthi the people who serve more in the church ibona engiba promotayo kakhulu uma sizwa the story of o baba u aromo baba u selman they were keyboard players hallelujah they were serving bedlala ma and uNkulunkulu exalted them because a keyboard player would always be there and serve diligently i want to tell you ukuthi awukho umsebenzi omncane Hallelujah. Labantu ababona begijima nezitsha zomnikelo those are the people that uNkulunkulu azoba in fact those are the great people in the church. The yabona njoba ukuthi mina angazi ngizokwenzani. Angazi ngizokwenzani it's really a challenge because it means ukuthi awufuna ukuya ndawo in the things of God. The ones that are leading prayers in this place those are the people ibona bakhulu uma ungena endleni kaNkulunkulu ngoba they are serving you so don't be content ukuthi angenzi lutho ngisakukhona lo muntu athi nje umbona ukuthi wena you should be serving athi mina ngisafuna ukuhlala meaning you are saying to me angifuna ukuseva i want to be served imagine if all of us can come and say it means you are saying i want to be great in the kingdom of god hallelujah um pastor lucas share ukuthi he will go over windjovu ayokwenza ma open airs 
those people who serve Basalwan, in the, who serve in the when Lakona, Kunga Kuksha Lakona Gazanka, Ilang Kulabun Kulukula Pagamisa, when you wait for the pulpit leg. Hallelujah. Our apostles, you will go to Mseni, Lakona Kunga Kokona Makamera, and a Kayalaba Dala to serve. It's not automatic, but God said, I establish those who dedicate and devote themselves to serve. Say this is the internship in the kingdom. This is how God sees Uguti. He can set you up in the mountain that you desire. I said, Umangala. He crafts you for the mountain. In service. Kuna level unkulunkula funugu bega corner where no mistakes are allowed. Hallelujah. Any mistake that you do can compromise many, many, many things. It's like someone who is a commander of a spies of a president. In that realm, no mistakes are allowed. If ever they make one mistake, it caused the whole nation to go down. Look at Moses. The level Abba established the owner, mistakes were not allowed. It costed him his life. So we level no we realm of establishment. Because to rule upon the people of God, it needs a version of a person. I think umuntu koshwayo, I think umuntu ngawazu controli temper, I think when usu wazu masterisha your own motions. Today, as we are going to pray, to exalt and encourage you that you look for a place in the kingdom, la ozo seva corner. Because that is what God is going to use in order for him to set you up. Can we stand on our feet? We're going to pray. We give you praise, oh God. We give you praise, oh Jesus. Abanye Beto, they are praying that God show me how to serve in your house. Abanye Beto, Lord, Help me to serve well. Abanye Bati, Lord, may I not get tired to serve well even when men do not recognize me. I do not know which is your prayer. Uma unga sevi, can you begin to pray a prayer? Oh, Shana Maha Sera. It's Lord, show me what I need to do in your house. Show me, show me, show me. Lead me, lead me, lead me. Because I want to tell you, many of you who are here, unkulunkulufunani serve the people that are coming. Kumashana mahana mahase. The Lord is going to bring such a harvest. Anything a song says he forged like nets to handle them. Libra kanta la baboshida. I am going to serve in your house. I am going to be a steward in your house. Today I have learned that savers is your intentship. I have learned that in savers, it is where you will promote me in savers. It's where you will increase me. I can hear God calling men unto savers. Ever since I came in this ministry, things are not growing. Ever since I started this ministry, there is no change. They have neglected what God has assigned them to do. After this fasting, we must come out as an army that has been trained and prepared. We cannot be trained and prepared in the in the journey. No must has figure corner in the assignment. Lord, I have not served you well. Kuba, I am not growing. Things are not growing ever since I came. Capacitate me. Give me strength. 
I can feel the Lord and hear him saying, pray more for those who have neglected service. Those who are given assignment. Oh, they are coming back to you. After today, they will serve with their money. They will serve with their gift. They will serve with their time. Kurama shanta la baba ba seribai. Come on, pray. Shela brakasa. Make me the best in my service. Shela baha sera. Make me the best in the service that you have given me. Now I see that the service you have given me, it's what's going to make you to establish me. Many of you are trusted by God. Ubutan bege over the economy, over wealth and be kingdom finances. Shila baya. But your pace in handling the finances personally is not good. And today... God is calling you to repentant. Kuba shela bra omunyu ne talent ulfitile. Shela ba andere bebe si talababo shanta pai. Shila bra kan talababo sa. Today I will use my talent. I'm gonna come out and declare what I can do. Omunyu zinto ziona ga ala kutuna ma expertise in certain area. Ulocating ya sabak and it's a spirit of pride. Today, today, today. Shela bra kan tele bebe si katapara se. Liman tele bebe be si katapara se di bahasha. We are coming back to you. We are your tools. We are your vessels. Can we surrender to God? We are your tools. We are your vessels. We are yielding to save us. We are taking save us. We were saved to come and serve in your kingdom. Not to sit down and be served. We give you praise, oh God, that you are engrafting us in your army. You are engrafting us in your army. I make a commitment that what you have ensigned me unto it's going to grow. Come on, Bazalana Kuna Bazalane. Ogmelebens at this commitment. You're good to what you have assigned me to do. I am gonna grow in the grace. I am gonna go grow in the grace that you have given me. I am going to grow in the grace. I'm going to be diligent in the grace. I'm not going to maintain. But everything that comes in my hand is going to grow. I can feel Holy Spirit is in this place. Oh, we honor you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We will serve in excellence. We will serve with a good attitude. We give you honor, oh God, for today. Even in our workplaces, we will serve well. Ah, there is no place that God does not see. Even in the workplace, you will serve well. Even Abantu Bengaponi, you will be faithful. We honor you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My father, Shaili Zanda, says, "Kakolo Bazalwa anisi tumesu chesu." As our apostle ascend, says Shaili Zanda, says, "Kakolo." Let's clap hands for our mother, the prophet. Come on, Bazalwane. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are our Father. You are our King. 
you have begotten us again unto a lively hope. And you have made us the first fruit of your creation. We give you praise and glory for tonight's word, the teaching, the way you have made us. No man can capacitate us in this manner. You are setting us up for kingdom dominion. You are setting us up for kingdom excellence. For your word says, an excellent spirit was upon Daniel. And it says, when Pharaoh saw Joseph, who said, where can we find a man upon whom is the spirit of God like this one? Thank you for an endowment of your spirit upon our lives. After such a word and teaching, we can never be the same, Lord. And therefore, we submit our thanksgiving to you and our praise. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray and we all shouted, Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, may be seated just for a minute. I joined that, that teaching, Bazalwan, and I'm so blessed in my heart. Uh, I want to greet you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Uh, we bless God so much for such a word. Uh, you, you, we are being made. What I can assure you, Abutin, um, once the clay has been submitted into the hands of a porter, I'll put me in shape a kuna le shape and you won't come out of this fasting the same way you entered. What used to be Amafela Zako, those are the places where you're going to excel in victory, where you used to fail. You're going to start excelling in victory in those areas because teaching and I'm realizing what God is establishing us. Lely's establishment is I'll receive on our first day of our gathering, 3 October. It was a Monday. And we were just praying, and the Lord just said to me, Establishment. Uh, it had property within it, but I'm just seeing God stretching it. He's just stretching it. He wants to establish us in all areas of our lives. So let's go, Bazalwane, and apply what you have been taught. Luke 16, verse 10, 12. Fundisang ama principles abaliwe. Faithfulness with money. Faithfulness in little things. Faithfulness with another man's things. If you are faithful with money, you are faithful in small things. Kiti pa ipelu Davide. U ele ya bu mfo wabu. Wat mei fige mpin u Davide. Watu mfo wabu. Kuzi shie no ba nizi invez ngane. With whom did you leave your few sheep with? So he said, Visiya David was with small things, but he was faithful in them. And Baba promoted more than people. He was the one who was given victory over Goliath. Amen. So the principles that you have been taught today are lifetime principles. Only what apply to Pele Nkonzoen. As Baza learning about them, God is setting us up. If you don't feel and you don't see what I'm feeling and seeing, you have a problem. Hallelujah. That needs an emergency. Ding on 911. Hallelujah. Because it's an emergency problem. I'm just seeing where God is taking you. It's a place you never thought. Where's the one you mean? What do you mean? And what do you mean? What do you mean? Praise God. Yeah. So. I know that Bazala not to conclude the Wednesday. I tell you what's singing in Yao. A commanding go such as we are going to bring our Thanksgiving offering. But I just want to pray for the youth that is looking for employment. The youth that is looking for employment. E youth specifically. E youth specifically. That is looking for employment. Yes, Zulu. Abanta Bashaba Pegim Sevens. Specifically, the youth. Please run to the front. The youth. You don't really emphasize the youth. The youth, the youth, the youth. I don't 
Nenche benda aga di youth. Ngekse lage i asharingi, i basi zishwa ni soila ina babi il bantabam. Gube kuni space school pagat nindao. Then in basi zi, why am I praying for them? Yesterday, I, I had two visions in the night. In one of them, I was teaching somewhere. And then the Holy Spirit said in my heart in that particular teaching, tell them that I'm going to give the youth. Because it, it seemed so unpractical. Tell them that I'm going to give the youth. But the Lord said to me, say it. And I said it in that particular vision. No mind, it seems like that. But this is what I said. I said, That's what I said in, my, in, in the vision. And I said, Tell them that I'm going to give the youth. And I said, I'm going to give the youth. I was doubting because I'm going to give the youth. Because I'm going to give the youth. But the Holy Spirit pressed me in the vision to say it. So the Lord says, we are, we, are, we are, I want you to be the first recipients of that prophetic implication. Amen. Hallelujah. We are so good. 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 We I compensation ya koni zo bangkulu. So it's a declaration I'm making. Upon you, as per according to the word of the Lord that came to me, what God is going to give you, angano man, it is simple or easy, employment, but the, the, the salary, the salary is going to be so great. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's going to be so great. It's going to be so great. It's going to be so great. It won't make sense. 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 It's going to be so great. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Uh, my testimony, the testimony box, so if you have a testimony, write it down. If you have a prayer request, write it down. If you have a prayer request, write it down. If you have a prayer request, write it down. Amen. Go bang guy born in Kuru so it's a faraz. Can't use So, the girl kungene in i i lo cruise la payana. Some of you I know you are wondering what this second vision was. And wondering, okay, let's close. Let's bring our oh. <laughs> Amen. Hey, I need it, Tandy. Send vision about to him. Mapolova, can you come here to the front? Um, I'm specific, just stand. I'm specifically upegging up in a Mapolova. Just look this place. Gibiza over Mapolova because he's one person I was sure. I even sent him a text today. Uh, but I also want to pray for people who are true for certain positions. But you feel like the devil is manipulating the system somehow. You know what the position is supposed to be yours. But there's a manipulation that you are feeling or you are seeing. 
and that manipulation ends up, as with that position is not going to be given to you. Please run to the front. Please run to the front. The, the, you are due for a specific position, a promotion, a position, but we are born with uh, this position that is a loser. My problem is that at the end, at, at the far left, we are not going to be on this side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Nkulunkulu, this is what uh, is going to do. Mapoloba, I'm saying this, this there is a position you are true for, and the Lord is going to give it to you. The Lord is going to give it to you. So, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. The Lord is delivering it to you now. The Lord is delivering it to you now. The Lord is giving you the throne. The Lord is giving you the throne. The Lord is giving you the throne. The Lord gives you the throne. The Lord God Almighty gives you the throne. Father, remove any obstacle. Remove any hindrance. Remove any manipulation. My God, my Father, my God, my Father, you promoted Joseph from the, from the prison to the throne. From the prison to the throne. From the prison to the throne. You promoted him. Father, as I lay my hand upon him, it is being so. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening from where he is to a higher level. By your mighty power. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name mighty name in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ lord i pray that you give it to them in the name of jesus in the name of the lord jesus christ Bazalwane, believe in god trust me believe in god can you beam for me john 1 verse 49 to 51 John chapter 1, verse 49 to 51. Believe in God. Believe in God. Believe in God. John 1, verse 49. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God. Thou art the King of Israel. Yes. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, uh, believest thou. Thou shalt see greater things than this. Oh. And verse 51, Uti, nige. verse 51, Uti, and he said unto him, Verily I send to thee, here after he shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. But my, 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 my focus, Ile eti, thou shalt see greater things than these. John 11, verse 49. John 11, verse 49. John 11, verse 49. No, it's not this one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm just looking for my scripture. John 11 verse 40. It's John 11 verse 40. A bit. John 11 verse 40. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shalt see the glory of God. If thou shalt believe, you will see glory. He glory is beyond what natural means can do. Glory will take you at your, to a place where your CV can take you. It will take you to a place where your CV can take you. It will take you to a place where your bank account can take you. 
if thou will believe, you will see the glory of God. Do you want to see glory? There is the key, believe. The key to seeing glory is believing. Let's close our eyes. Let's mama polo run to the front. Just close our eyes. We're praying. Thank you, Lord. Whatever it is, Lord, may she receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let's close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release glory all over this house and grace, the blessing of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the miracles of God, the signs and wonders, the anointing of the Holy Spirit all over this room. And Father, whatsoever you have deposited in this atmosphere, upon our lives, the anointing you have deposited for tonight, Lord, I pray that it is released. Whatsoever things that you have deposited to be released in this house, I release them now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release them now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release them now. Whatsoever it is, I may not call them by name, but my God, you know them. Your angels know them. Let their things be delivered unto them. You sent an angel. You sent me. You sent to, to, for, for your anointing to deliver to them. Let their things be delivered to them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whether it be healing, it be deliverance. It be breakthrough. It be promotion. Whatever it is, I now release it. I now release it. I now release it. I now release it upon your people. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I give you praise. I give you glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Be exalted, be honored. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's bring our Thanksgiving offering, Bazalwan. Let's bring our Thanksgiving offering. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, if you don't have your cash, you can use that account number on the screen there. Let's bring our offerings, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My help has come. Mm -hmm. Let's close our eyes. This is the season that you have appointed, Father. And we receive it with both arms. We receive it with an open heart. We receive it. We take it. It is ours. And we are running with it. Whatever you have spoken shall come to pass. And it is coming to pass. I bless the offering of your people. Be sanctified and be set apart. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, I give you praise and glory. And we all shouted, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. You are blessed. You are protected. The favor of God is upon you. Receive this priestly blessing, which is uttered under the order of Melchizedek and under our high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. Amen.